Anti-Putin Rebellion, Ukraine Outline Scenario and Timeline of Possible Coup in Russia. Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, Alexander Litvinenko, commented on the likelihood of a coup in Russia. Litvinenko insists he is not being unrealistic in imagining Russian elites might one day turn on their leader. There are still quite a few rational people in the leadership. They will think and act when they realize the cost of staying with Putin is greater than moving away from him, he said in an interview with The Economist. At the same time, he drew attention to the fact that the priority for Ukraine is to obtain real security guarantees. As detailed by The Economist, Litvinenko was a cryptologist cadet in Moscow at the elite KGB Academy. And as the head of the Foreign Intelligence Service of Ukraine during two years of war, he was engaged in undermining and obtaining information from his former colleagues. It is noted that not many non-Russians know Russia as well as Alexander Litvinenko. More recently, as head of Ukraine's Foreign Intelligence Service during two years of war, he busied himself undermining and extracting information from his one-time peers. At the end of March, he took over one of the country's most critical jobs, The Economist noted. A year ago, the idea that a renegade militia led by a frothing nationalist could nearly march on Moscow, sending Russian officials scurrying for cover, was fantasy. Not that it hadn't been done before. The so-called Kornilov affair of 1917 and even the failed hardliner coup of 1991 showed what a move could potentially look like. But under Putin, the idea that Russian nationalists might congeal and storm Moscow long seemed laughable. And then last June, militia head Yevgeny Prigozhin did just that. And while Prigozhin's Wagner group never quite reached Moscow, that wasn't for lack of opportunity. If anything, the path was wide open. If Prigozhin accomplished anything, it was that he made Putin look like a Tsar with no clothes. German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius has compared Russian President Vladimir Putin to Hitler and urged Europe to prepare for large-scale aggression of the Russian Federation. As Bloomberg writes, Pistorius emphasized that Putin will not stop in Ukraine. He also made that clear. As clearly as Hitler, who also always said that he would not stop, he emphasized. In this regard, Pistorius reiterated the importance of strengthening the German armed forces amid the growing threat. We have to put this country back in a position where it can defend itself. We have to decide now whether we want to prepare for a real threat from Putin or whether we want to make it easier for him. The German defense minister said, Putin will not stop once the war against Ukraine is over. Pistorius said at a presentation of a new book about Britain's wartime leader, Winston Churchill. He has also said that clearly. Added Pistorius, who is a member of Chancellor Olaf Scholz's Social Democratic Party and Germany's most popular politician. Just as clearly as Hitler, who also always said that he would not stop. Faced with war, people elect a leader, whom they trust and whom they follow even though he presents the world in ugly terms, Pistorius said. The defense minister, seen as a possible successor to Scholz, last week called for a loosening of Germany's borrowing restrictions to help bolster the country's military once a special off-budget fund worth 100 billion euros is exhausted in 2027. We have to put this country back in a position where it can defend itself, Pistorius said at the book event, a reference to years of neglect of the Bundeswehr armed forces. We have to decide now whether we want to prepare for a genuine threat from Putin to materialize or whether we want to make it easy for him. U.S. authorizes three countries to transfer 65 F-16 fighters to Ukraine. Cost of aid is $1.68 billion. The United States has authorized Denmark, Norway and the Netherlands to transfer 65 F-16 Fighting Falcon fighter jets to Ukraine. The approximate cost of such a military aid package is $1.68 billion, including spare engines, simulators, manuals, tools and various materials for the operation and maintenance of the F-16. This is reported by Zona Militar. In particular, Denmark will provide six F-16, Block 10 aircraft, 13 F-16 Block 15 aircraft, additional engines and support equipment. The value of the transfer is estimated at 87.5 million US dollars. It is worth noting that the Danish government was not only one of the initiators of providing Ukraine with F-16 fighters, but also one of the few countries that provide training for pilots and technical staff, the report said. As for Norway, 
Ukraine is to receive up to 22 F-16 Block 10 Stroke 15 aircraft, as well as engines, auxiliary equipment, test stands, tools, maintenance materials, simulators, spare parts, manuals and technical documentation from this state. The initial acquisition cost is approximately $1.326 billion. Norway has provided several F-16 aircraft to train Ukrainian crews and has also formed a core group of instructors to support the Danish effort, Zona Militar noted. At the same time, Norwegian publication Netta Vissen clarified that not all of these 22 fighter jets are serviceable but can be used as spare parts for other aircraft. As Netta Vissen suggests, 12 of the 22 aircraft approved for transfer to Ukraine are fully operational while the remaining 10 are in an unknown condition. The government has decided to transfer several F-16 aircraft to Ukraine as part of multinational cooperation. The exact number and timing of the transfer to Ukraine will be determined in dialogue with Ukraine and other donor countries, Norwegian Defence Ministry spokesman Lars Jembel responded to the publication. After all, the Netherlands was another main supporter of the project to deliver F-16 fighter jets to the Ukrainian Air Force. In the first months, the Dutch government was ready to hand over its F-16s to third parties to replace the Soviet-origin combat aircraft. Although this initiative did not materialize, it was the first step for the project of the previously mentioned European countries. Zona Militar noted the publication specified that in the last week of March, the Dutch Defense Ministry announced the purchase of air-to-air -air missiles for the F-16s handed over to Ukraine. The cost of this initiative is 150 million US dollars.